39% of current skills will be outdated by 2030. Two major driving forces, tech innovation and global economic meltdown, are accelerating automation everywhere. If you're picking a degree this year, your future depends on getting it right. Hi everyone, my name is Geeky and I love to talk about everything from study and productivity to lifestyle and travel. If that's your vibe, then click on the subscribe button and join the community. Let's get started. Experts at the World Economic Forum estimate that by 2030, 92 million jobs will be displaced. However, 170 million new jobs will be created, which will give a rough gain of 78 million more jobs, roughly 7% more than today. This isn't science fiction. It's based on the Future of Job Reports 2025, and it means one thing. Whether you're considering a bachelor's or master's program, planning a career path, or even setting up a company strategy, you need to start preparing now. In this episode, I'll walk you through what these trends means for students, as well as early and mid-career professionals. The tone here is calm and factual, no hype, just data and insights that you need. We'll look at skills of the future, the types of job at risk by 2030, and even what a career change by 2025 might involve. The goal here is to equip you to adapt, not to scare you. Let's dive in. Let's start with students. Choosing what to study has never been more important, and the data makes it crystal clear. According to the World Economic Forum of the Future of Jobs Report 2025, 39% of core skills will change by 2030, meaning that nearly 4 in 10 of the skills you're currently learning today could be outdated even before you graduate. Some academic fields are already shrinking faster than universities can even update their curriculums. Degrees focused on administration, clerical, and data entry roles are already tied to jobs among the top 15 fastest declining roles globally. What's the implication? Well, if you choose the wrong degree today, you could be preparing for a career that statistically might not exist five years after you've graduated from school. That's why the smart move today more than ever is to align your education with human-centric tech-augmented disciplines such as analytical thinking, AI and big data literacy, creative thinking and adaptability, technological literacy. If you're a student or soon to be graduate, you might wonder, what then should I focus on? The World Economic Forum report gives us clear signals. Technological innovation, global economic meltdown, and broader digital access are the top main drivers of transformation. In practical terms, this means that tech-focused related fields will dominate job growth over the next decade. In fact, the fastest growing jobs by 2030 are overwhelmingly tech related. Roles like big data specialists, AI and machine learning specialists, fintech engineers, software developers are leading the way. Meanwhile, many traditional clerical and administrative jobs are expected to shrink or completely disappear. The same roles that some degrees are still preparing students for today. For example, jobs like data entry clerks, bank tellers, executive assistants and secretaries are all on the decline. So when I talk about jobs at risk by 2030, these are the types of jobs I mean. Remember, risk doesn't mean total elimination. New roles will compensate for the losses. However, you shouldn't plan to enter a field that's already rapidly disappearing. Let's talk about the skills of the future. What you learn now should align with the fields that are projected to grow. The World Economic Forum reports projects that the fastest growing skills are mainly tech and digital abilities. Top of the list are AI and big data, networks and cybersecurity, general technological literacy. In other words, being able to work with computers, data and AI will be hugely valuable no matter what field you're in. But it's not only technical skills that matter. Employers are placing increasing value on human and creative skills. Skills like creative thinking, flexibility, resilience and agility are rising in demand because they help individuals adapt to rapid changes. Even environmental stewardship, understanding green technologies and sustainability has now entered the top fastest growing skill sets thanks to climate change and new regulations. To sum up, fastest growing job roles include big data specialists, AI and machine learning specialists, fintech engineers, software developers, top skills to build in 2025, AI and data analysis, cybersecurity, creative thinking, adaptability and resilience. Fields to watch, renewable energy, for example, engineers for electric cars and green tech, healthcare tech and any industry combining human and technology. As a student, you should lean into the strengths. Consider courses in computer science, data science, engineering, cybersecurity, 
or any field that's connected with technology and solving real life problems. But don't forget your soft side either. Practice problem solving, teamwork, creative thinking and adaptability. Internships, volunteer projects or even self-initiated online work in emerging fields can give you a critical head start. And if you're interested in things like robotics, AI ethics, or even renewable energy, these are the exact fields that are projected to grow the fastest by 2030. Lastly, many students today might end up switching fields early in their careers. The next few years will see fast shifts. The idea here is to remain flexible. For example, someone starting in business might pivot into fintech. A graphics design student might actually consider adding UI, UX, and digital skills. A healthcare major, for instance, could specialize in telemedicine tech. Continuous learning is no longer optional. It is the new standard. But there is still time to adjust your part. By aligning with the Future of Jobs Report 2030, you'll be avoiding wasting time and energy preparing for a career that might soon vanish. And that's all I have for you for this episode. In the coming episode, I'm going to talk about how these trends affect early and mid-career professionals and how you can upskill, reskill, and stay relevant. If you found this video useful, remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. I'll leave you as always. Remember where you're coming from, remember where you are, and remember where you're going. Until the next episode, it's all shades of love.